Check, check, check. Well, greetings, Boise State fans. Welcome on in Bronco Nation News, Bronco Nation News Live. Uh, new microphone here, so let me know if you can uh, hear me or not hear me. Really looking forward to this episode. We're going to talk about the NIL deal that Boise State signed yesterday, the first deal uh, where Boise State's basketball players, men's and women's, now get a uh, deal where they make $5 off every shirt deal. And uh, it has their name on the back, their number. The name, image, and likeness program is uh, alive and rolling at Boise State. Mike Walsh is going to join us. He's the Associate Athletic Director for Business Development and uh, Revenue Innovation. And then Clint Horderman uh, is actually a former Boise State basketball player who is uh, from uh, Select uh, Printing, worked on this deal and did it as well. So we're going to talk to them in just a couple minutes and kind of break this down. So if you have any questions on name, image, and likeness and what players at Boise State can do to hear uh, things uh, and make more money and things like that, uh, that would be great. So uh, we're getting some comments in that we can hear you clearly. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, hear you loud and clear. Appreciate that. If you don't already subscribe to us on the YouTube page, we'll get a couple housekeeping things out of the way uh, before we get started. Please go to the YouTube channel. It's very easy. It's just uh, youtube.com slash Bronco Nation News. We're trying to get over a thousand YouTube subscribers. So we are live on YouTube right now. And uh, that's the easiest way to get our shows and find us. So please go to YouTube and uh, just click subscribe. Uh, and then you can also click the, uh, I think it's the bell or something which notifies you i'm not a, a youtuber my kid could could figure that out but just subscribe on youtube and then on our pre-game shows our post-game shows are the easiest way to watch us you can watch us right there on your smart tv through youtube if you just want to do it that way and then um as we move forward you can still be on your phone or your computer or whatever and so youtube is going to be used heavily by us moving forward here at bronco nation news so hopefully you will uh please consider uh Helping us get to a thousand subscribers, just go to youtube.com, type in Bronco Nation News, and click search. Uh, quick look before we get started at the Mountain West standings. Boise State basketball, a couple of some more crazy games last night. Boise State now uh, still in first place, but tied with Wyoming. Wyoming with an overtime victory last night over uh, Utah State. The free throw edge in that game, 32 to 13. 32 to 13 was the free throw edge in that game. And uh, you had Wyoming winning the game in overtime. Uh, Graham E.K. hit two free throws after getting fouled on a rebound to send the game to overtime. Then Wyoming wins it in overtime when a shot misses uh, from uh, Utah State uh, right before the buzzer. So 9-1, and one, Boise State again Friday will be uh, playing uh, UNLV at 9 o'clock. And then Sunday will be uh, playing Colorado State. Both of those are at home, and those will be some big games uh, this weekend, we got some big shows coming up uh, moving forward. We will have uh, tomorrow, actually, we will have uh, Mike Prater. We'll have Matt Bowser as well on Friday. So a lot going on as we get you set for Boise State basketball. But the news of the day with uh, Boise State basketball yesterday as we bring in Mike Walsh from Boise State. I got to get make sure I get the title correct here, Mike. Associate Athletic Director, Business Development, Revenue Innovation. It's a cool title. 
Uh, Mike's been uh, Boise State, what, two different stints, Mike, and um, been doing a lot of work. Uh, folks seeing you on TV there whenever they show Leon Rice at a basketball game. You always saw Mike Walsh in the background uh, right there on Press Row. Did a great job as the SID for the basketball team. Has moved into a promotion uh, with the athletic department. And, and one of the things you're focusing on, Mike, uh, came to fruition yesterday. And I know we're going to talk in general just about NIL deals and stuff. But uh, appreciate you coming on, man. How, how's the new gig going? Yeah, no, it's awesome. Thanks for having me, man. Uh, really excited about where this is headed and um, definitely still trying to stay in the background. So, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe my face will be out there a little bit more, but at the end of the day, we're trying to do work on behalf of the student athletes that are doing all the work, um, you know, to get themselves out there and be marketable and um, get them in front of the businesses. So uh, well, that's a huge part of what we're doing. We saw the deal yesterday uh, announcing the, uh, you know, the first kind of group licensing deal, NIL. Uh, just in general, how does this work? If, uh, h- how does it work in terms of uh, we see uh, everybody from Abu Kijab to, to Sam Winter uh, having their name out there for a shirt? We're talking walk-ons. We're talking starters. Every player on the men's and women's basketball team is now available to go and, and get a shirt. And, and I know this is part of a bigger push for you guys in terms of the group licensing program. So how does this work that uh, you guys are now able to uh, go out and sell shirts and apparel and things for student athletes? So the group license piece of this is just a, an element of our NIL program, but it's a huge piece of it. And it's what we've been really, really putting a lot of hours into uh, to be able to get to this point. Um, you know, working with outside legal counsel, working with our inside legal counsel, government relations, uh, all the folks you could imagine that needed to be a part of making sure that we're dotting our I's, crossing our T's, doing it all above board. Because at the end of the day, we want this done right. Uh, we want it done right the first time. We don't want questions when we come back to this. So the opportunity to do group deals uh, was something very important to us. When we started looking at an in-house NIL program and what that could look like, what it could mean, um, you know, we really have gone back a couple of years on this as as we probably started sitting out uh, sports during the start of the pandemic and in, in March and April 2020, we kind of knew something was coming from an NIL standpoint, never knew what the guidelines and ground rules were going to be from the NCAA. And so all the way back then, we started just formulating some plans, figuring out what could we do if it were to look like this. Uh, obviously, as most people who are interested in the space know, by the time the NCAA ruling came down, it had changed a ton just in the last couple of weeks uh, before July 1st. And so we kind of had to take a step back and say, okay, we, we might be able to do the most aggressive approach we thought we could. And we had to take a look at that and get some folks involved and have conversations. And once we were able to do that, we just hit the ground running. And we started uh, by developing our, our policy, um, which we've had a ton of help on. And we started out you know, knowing that we wanted to do a group license. And so we had the group license agreement uh, put together during that same conversation. It was a lot of back and forth. It was a lot of folks involved in our department and then externally. Um, and it was, it was a ton of work to get to this point. And I've kind of had some people ask like, well, why, why aren't other schools doing this? Well, there's a few answers, but one of them is that it's a ton of work. And <laughs> we're fortunate uh, to have the leadership that views these new challenges uh, and the new frontier of college athletics as an opportunity. And that's not the same everywhere. So we've been able to attack it aggressively and, and with a mindset that we're going to make the best of it for us uh, as a department, which for us means making the best of it for our student athletes. And that's kind of been our North Star is, um, you know, the most student athlete friendly NIL program in the country. And part of that means getting everybody involved when they want to be. And so we have a group license agreement that people can um, opt into. It's voluntary. It's non-exclusive. It's non-binding. But what it does, if you as a student athlete sign up, what it allows is a couple of things. It allows us to um, represent them and and go out and seek deals on their behalf. Uh, And then it allows them to be part of a group. And so a group in this sense is three student athletes from the same sport or six student athletes from across all sports. And once that threshold is met for any deal, um, then we can kind of we can negotiate on behalf of the student athlete. We eventually bring it back to them and make sure it's something that they're interested in, something they want to be part of before we go live with it, make sure it aligns with what they view as their business stance and and kind of where they want to be involved. Um, But it gives us that power to go out and do that. Now, the one thing that's still, you know, hang up, I guess, uh, that we that we need to focus on is that we can't be the financial conduit. So it takes a bunch of players in this game. Uh, It takes licensees. It takes brands. It takes people that want to be a part of this program. Uh, to, to get everything to the finish line. But what we know is that we are best positioned of anybody to work side by side and, and walk along side of our athletes during this journey uh, to see where they want to go with NIL. And we're set up to, 
to help every level of student athlete. If you really don't want to put any work into it, but you're open to being part of a group license, you, you kind of see now what that could look like for somebody. Uh, if, if you're somebody who is willing to do deals and willing to do appearances and willing to do commercials, you just don't want to put the time and effort in and negotiating and having conversations all the time and building your brand uh, outside of what you're doing on the court or on the field. We're here to do that for you. We're here to help get those deals done for you. Make sure that it lines up with who you are and what you want to be about. And then the next step is honestly people who want to be involved in the conversations, who want to go on to do business work when they leave here. We want to be entrepreneurs. We're here to help them be in the conversations, bring them along, have those dialogues with them, allow them to go out and do it with the businesses on their own to understand how this works, this stuff works. And the fourth level is people who want to do so much that they need outside help. They need a marketing team. They need a rep. And that's okay too. We're here to work with them too. We're here to bring deals that maybe if somebody has a national level rep, that we can bring them some local opportunities. We'll, we'll work with their rep. So we've built a program that brings value to every student athlete. And that's what we're excited about. Well, Nathaniel chiming in, I already ordered three shirts. So I'm sure uh, everyone's happy to see that. Uh, we got some other comments uh, coming in. What uh, The thing I thought was cool is it's not just the star quarterback or the star point guard. I mean, this is everybody. And um, my understanding is in terms of the women's side, this may be at least yesterday, the uh, you guys now offer more women's uh, apparel now than, than maybe any school in the country. What, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's more, more individually personalized merchandise. So mo there are more individuals on our women's basketball team who have personalized merchandise available than any other program in the country. And that's something that was also very important to us when it comes to having an in-house program. It gives us, when I say it gives us control, it has nothing to do with control of making sure that our athletes are making this or that or filtering or, you know, any sort of um, censorship. It has nothing to do with that type of control. What it makes sure of is that when we're having conversations, we're allowed to do what is in the best interest of everybody, of our whole group, of all of our athletes. And that includes, uh, you know, one through 14 on the men's side and one through 16 on the women's side uh, for basketball. And it includes getting the softball program out there, which softball will be one of the next ones probably to have a group deal done. Um, you may have seen the opportunity that uh, was floating around on social and on the radio last month. And it's a part of a monthly deal that's going along with, with your partner over at KTIK. Um, and it started with volleyball. And those conversations are important to us that when we are having the conversations on behalf of the student athletes that the brands we're working with are understanding the value that all of our student athletes bring, not just the ones that they can see on TV every day. What, uh, and what is next? I know you mentioned uh, if this goes well, this is kind of a trial run, and we're going to bring Clint on in just a minute here. But what, what um, it, you know, I'm sure you know Khalil Shakir could have made a lot of money if this was in place last fall. Uh, what are the possibilities moving forward? You mentioned softball, but potentially with football and other sports. And I know folks were asking about the shirts being you know, only available online for a short amount of time, and could we maybe see them in stores? Uh, what can you kind of tell us about all that stuff? Yeah, as with everything we're doing right now, you know, and Clint's probably a better person to ask about the, the ins and outs of, of his business and how those things operate and, and why maybe we're set up the way we are. Um, but our goal with everything is to push this bigger and better. And at the, at the end of the day, we needed to start somewhere. And this is where there were some people comfortable starting. Um, we were comfortable starting with, with a, an opportunity that allowed for, you know, somebody didn't have to carry a ton of product on hand and not knowing what any sort of demand and interest was. But what we agree upon is that the more that we can prove demand in this type of space, then the more opportunities and more chances we're going to be able to take in the future. And so that's what we're excited about. Uh, we've got all those opportunities cooking and, and we know that that's what we want to do. We just need to continue to prove value. And merchandise is one of those areas that it's a great unknown right now. This has never been done in this market. Uh, it's never been done in a lot of markets when it comes to personalized, you know, college athlete material and, and merchandise and apparel. So, uh, we need to just navigate those those first unique opportunities, uh, do them to the best of our ability, find licensees that are willing to do it to the best of their ability. Um, and we believe we've done that with Clint. So uh, we're excited about about the first partnership that we've been able to announce real publicly from a group standpoint. And we know that more is to come and the best is yet to come. Well, well, we'll bring in Clint right here. I don't know if you guys want to go ahead and make the new deal while we're on the show <laughs> or what, but uh, uh, I guess a uh, final thing, Wallace, before we go to Clint yeah. here, what, what just what, what would you say, I guess, to fans out there that are they're learning about this for the first time and, and just um, kind of just, you know, not really sure about all this and what where the direction's headed and just what would kind of be your, your closing message to, to people out there about all this? Uh, yeah, my closing message to folks who don't know maybe what all of this is is that they're not alone, and we're trying to figure this out too. 
But at the end of the day, we've got people on staff uh, that are willing to, they're willing to t go the extra mile and ask all the questions and get all the answers and do all those things. And so one thing we found right out of the gate was that we needed to um, have conversations and, and serve on both sides of the fence. We need to be with the student athletes and providing them benefits. We also need to be with the companies and the businesses and the people in the community and help them understand where this can go, not just that it exists, but how it can work best for them and how it can work best for the student athletes and, um, and what it can look like. And so we're here to do that. And if anybody wants to get in touch, they can reach out to me at any time, nil at boisestate.edu. If you're a business who knows you want to jump in, you can go ahead and sign up for our exchange program, broncosports.com backslash nil. Uh, and you can get anything like that done. We're here to answer the questions. We're here to hold your hand along the way and, and get this to be win, win, win all across the board. So well, appreciate you having me on, BJ. Yeah, appreciate it, Mike. It's a really cool deal. I think what about five bucks from every shirt goes straight back to the uh, the athletes here, and hopefully future deals will continue to help them. And so uh, congratulations again on the promotion, on the new addition to the family, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. All right, thanks so much. Have there he is, Mike Walsh from Boise State. We appreciate him coming on. We'll go right to our uh, next guest, Clint Horteman. Uh, was just getting buckets left and right at Extra Mile Arena during his career back in the day. And uh, Clint, uh, we, we appreciate you joining us, man. You're with Select Printing, and you're kind of the other part of this. You're actually producing and making the shirts for this deal. Uh, just tell us how this came about from your perspective and why you wanted to get involved. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me on. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're great. You yep. Okay, perfect. Um, actually, Mike was the one that uh, approached me about it. We had done some other projects for Boise State um, over the years. And um, I have, I coach an AU basketball team. And this new NIL stuff has been a, a subject that we've discussed a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, Mike said, hey, what do you think about printing some shirts that maybe are, are, are you know, tailored to those individual players? Money can get kicked back to them. And I thought it was awesome. I, I was like, from a business standpoint, I'm going, I, I, it's a gamble because we don't know, again, the demand. Um, that's why I've had some people that have reached out and asked, you know, why can we get them just like individually at a store or this or that? And my, the only issue that we have is, you know, I didn't know if we were going to have hundreds sold or five sold, you know, um, to produce one or two shirts. It takes a lot of uh, time, energy and money to set it up and tear it down with only a few minutes of print time. So, um Anyways, we thought this basketball would be a great trial run. Uh, Mike did all the legwork. He did. He's the idea behind it, and he just approached me, and I was, again, uh, been asked a couple times about this. He, he, he hit the right guy because, obviously, I'm a basketball guy, uh, an alumni, and uh, I thought it would be really cool if, if this does take off, being able to help out these kids because, you know, they've worked so hard, and, and this is a way for them to make a little bit of uh, school, and, and, and I appreciate that. I, the school makes a lot of money. Um off of these athletes, but they should be making some money too because they're the ones putting in the time as well. So, what, what uh, you know, just just if you I don't know if you'd have had this opportunity back when you played, but what what do you make of just a a guy like a Tyson Degenhardt or or one of these players being able now to make five bucks off a shirt and and um, you know we, we've already seen the website and there's some of the shirts now and it's everybody from the walk on at the end of the bench to the star player. Uh, what, what what do you make of that aspect of this? You know, I think it's to me, uh, I don't know how many shirts people would have bought of, <laughs> of me, but when I played Roberto, Jerry Washington, Abe Jackson, those guys, I'm sure they would have done awesome with this. Um, I think it's always cool to look up in the stands and be able to see your own jersey. You know what I mean? Um, but I do think that it's a way for these individual players, again, to get rewarded for all their hard work. Um, you know, I remember watching this documentary on the uh, Fab Five and Jalen Rose was talking about walking around the mall and uh, he saw a bunch of kids that were wearing his jersey and he was laughing because he's like, those guys are wearing my jersey, but I can't even afford to buy that jersey. Um, and so this is an opportunity, again, for these kids that if they're if if they are performing and obviously, the you know, fans love these players, you know. Uh, for them to say, listen, I want to wear that kid's jersey, that guy that plays that athlete's jersey. Um, and again, it could be you might like a kid because he's a hard nosed kid. You might like a kid because he's a, you know, he's the scorer or the rebounder or whatever. But I think everybody likes different players for different reasons. So this is a way to kind of support whatever you like, you know, whatever player is your favorite. So um, I, I think it's awesome. I, like I said, I'm hoping, you know, that. Uh, it continues to go well because it has gone pretty well so far, in my opinion. Again, I don't, we've never done this. Um, yep. We've done a million online stores for schools, businesses, 
um, but we've never done anything like this. And um, you know, I feel like it's been going great. I, I hope keep people continue to support it. And, and uh, uh, anyways, yeah, we got uh, the Degenhart family representing ordered mine already. I don't know if there's a family discount for the, for the families, Clint, but uh, what what's, um, what is the plan for this moving forward in terms of the distribution? And everyone was kind of, you know, the first thing they saw was, oh, the deadline's Friday. And I had someone say, well, why didn't they think of this in November? I'm sure you did. You just didn't have the deal done. But what, what what's kind of the, the time frame of this and when you hope to have stuff delivered? And is it only going to be online or is there hope in the future this can be retail? Or what, what's from your perspective, how involved are you in all that? Well, I think it can go a lot of different directions. You know, I'm really excited to meet with Mike when we're done with this. The reason why we set that date was we needed a couple of weeks to turn everything around. So our game plan is that we can get these two in people's hands by the by March 1st. Um, and March 1st, ironically, is senior night. So that's our goal is to try and get those turned around, shipped out. So the reason we set the date for Friday was we'll close the store at noon. We'll export everything. And this all takes time. My staff and myself will export everything um, and then place the order. We try in our shop to keep as little as inventory as possible. So we order all the shirts. They start getting shipped to us. Um, as everybody in the world knows right now, the, uh, the uh, uh, supply chain is, is slow and kind of awful. But hopefully within a week, we're getting everything. We'll decorate it all. Um, that'll take us several days, two, three days, maybe four. Uh, bag it and tag it, which means we just put it in bags, put an invoice in there. Uh, put a, a shipping label and get it out the door so it can be over to the hopefully um, by the end of the month. That's why we set this date. And again, I think the future to, to answer that question can go any direction. Um, again, I feel like this is, this has gone very well um, again. And again, they got the right guy. So for me, it's if we just can kind of break even and, and do okay, uh, uh, I'm happy to support the Broncos. Um, but it's all comes down to, we don't really have a storefront. And so if, if it's one of those where the Bronco shop or the blue and orange store or whatever can get the right, the correct. And I don't know how it works. That's a mic question. The right, right licensing on this. Obviously, we're willing to print the shirts if they're willing to sell them in their stores. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but we're really not in the business of carrying inventory, of ordering and having on hand, you know, 20 smalls, 20 mediums, 20 larges, 20 XLs. Think about that for every player in the men's and women's program. Well, what if those don't get sold and now I'm sitting there with, you know, 500 shirts on the shelf because they didn't sell because only a hundred sold. Right. Sure. Uh, but that's where someone would have to step up and say, listen, we're, let's, let's get this going. Um, the online approach allows for us to just order whatever is purchased. Right. Like we don't have to have any inventory. So what's the uh, response been like so far? You got anything you can tell us in terms of the, the best selling Jersey or any of the numbers so far? Yeah, I mean, I think we've probably got about 250 shirts sold so far, which I think is great. I mean, this is less than 24 hours. I was stoked on that. I mean, I, again, not knowing what to expect. Uh, Shaver and, and, and Dagan Hart are having a, having a battle for the top spot. Um, I was kind of playing around with that this morning as I was hustling my kids out the door. And um, those two are, are right now the, the, some of the you know, top orders. But what I was loving was, there was orders for every Jersey and, and several for the girls. I mean, I was like, I mean, it's getting pretty spread out. Those two are obviously the most popular players, um, uh, you know, at the moment, but I noticed that ACOT had some orders this morning. So I know he's kind of trying to, trying to catch up, but it's kind of fun. Like I, I would definitely, I'll make sure and let you know in the end what our numbers look like. So when we order on Friday, I'll send you a zip you a text. So at least you got that info. You can put it out on social yeah. and, uh, let people know, hey, listen, this is, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, again, to me, that's kind of fun. Yeah. And again, every, you know, the simple math is every shirt that's sold, the player gets oh, five yeah. bucks, five bucks back in their pocket for every shirt sold, right? For, doesn't matter again, if you're the walk on at the end of the bench or the star player, you all get the same amount of money, five bucks per shirt. Absolutely. Yep. No questions about it. But the really cool thing to me um, that, that, uh, you know, this NIL thing, I think there's a lot of people that have, uh, I think there's a lot of people that have kind of a mixed emotion about this NIL deal, right? You know, there's kind of the, the diehards, the old school guys that are like, well, geez, you know, they should just be getting their education. And I don't understand why we, why this needs to happen. Regardless of your opinion on that, um, I think that it's happening. It's a rule. It's in place. And we need, as a, as a community, if we want to get the best athletes, and keep the best athletes with you. Everybody knows about the transfer portal. Everybody knows about this NIL deal. 
we got to keep these guys happy. And um, if Colorado State and UNLV and San Diego State are doing it and we're not, we're not a part of it, we're not going to get the players. We're not going to keep the players. Um, I, I heard you talking to Mike about, you know, other community. You know, there's a lot of ideas where people could get involved with this NIL deal, a lot of uh, businesses and whatnot. Then I filled out that NIL thing, man. It took five minutes, and it was super simple. And Mike will walk you through it. Mike's a stud. He'll walk you through whatever you need to to get that set up. So, you know, I'm hoping that obviously that I get to continue to do this with my, my business and support these guys and them support me. But I think there's a lot of other, you know, businesses out there that I hope jump on board and continue to help these kids. And it, and just like you said, not just – obviously there's, you know, the Tysons and the you know, Mark – but – all the guys, all the players, all the girls players, you know, um, that would be, I mean, hopefully that keeps us rolling and, and keeps us at the top of the conference, you know, year in and year out. Yeah. Well, maybe Bronco Nation News, my new venture here, can get to a point where we can uh, partner up with something like this. Let's get Bronco Nation News involved with select printing somehow. Uh, we'll have to see down the road. But uh, I appreciate your time, man. Great stuff. We had some other comments rolling in. Jordan's already bought uh, a men's and women's uh, players shirt, uh, taking orders for more. We got all kinds of other Folks chiming in saying they've ordered there. So uh, 250 plus already. That's pretty cool. And again, you have till Friday. What's the best way? I know, uh, can they get it through the slickprintingusa.com or what's the best way? I've, I've got on social, my social media, the links and stuff, but what's the best way for folks to get to the uh, online store? I, I think that's just spot on. Just go through that, you know, go through that link. Um, I mean, that's the other part of this. We try to keep the shirts really affordable, something that a price point where everybody could buy and not be like, whoa, you know, it's you know, 25 bucks. So it's not like it's going to break the bank. Um, but yeah, I think just go right on that link has been kind of spread all over the place. Just jump on there. Um, it's pretty streamlined. You know, we've done those online stores for a lot of schools and the businesses. It's really simple, really streamlined. They have a, a, a sizing chart on there too. So if people are like, I don't know what size to get, you know, um, they can go on there and look, we have youth sizes, adult sizes. It goes up, I think all the way like four XL, um, and all the way down to a youth small. So, you know, people are, people are wanting, uh, Bronco nation news caps. I got to cap somewhere that everybody likes i gotta see what we're allowed to do uh trademark licensing wise but uh do you print caps can we get that done heck yeah I all like right, that all right. right now thanks yeah this is for one of our sponsors ropaint.com but we'll uh we'll be in touch clint appreciate your time man it's great to hear it's going well so far and hopefully this is just the start of something i think what uh, mike walsh is doing there and and uh, you guys and and uh, i think this is great for the athletes to uh get some some money back in their pockets uh, even if it's just a couple hundred bucks uh, for rent for a month or something here and there it's uh, great and uh, we appreciate it and we'll be in touch and hope it continues to go well through Friday. We'll continue to push and spread the word on the link on the websites and things like that. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon, man. Awesome. Hey, thanks for having me on and uh, go, Bron go Broncos. Appreciate it, Clint. There he is. Clint Horderman with Boise state, uh, former player with Boise state. Now he's with select printing and does some great stuff with youth basketball in the area as well. And uh, appreciate him for uh, coming on. And again, you can go to the uh, different sites. They have again, the men's shirts, you know, there's everybody from uh, Tyson Degenhart to walk on Sam Winter. Uh, and, you know, you've got the women's team shirts as well. Everything, uh, you know, from Mandy Simpson to Mary Kay Nero to everybody. So um, it, it's pretty cool the way they're doing this. And, again, it's a it's a T-shirt, but it's got their, their number on the front, the official Boise State logo, and then it's got their name and number on the back. So this is a monumental uh, deal in terms of the first time this has happened for – for Boise state and, and uh, for them to be able to, uh, you know, have athletes, you know, legally. I mean, there's, there's been some illegal ways. You see some of those overseas uh, Jersey companies and things like that making jerseys, but um, you know, overall it, uh, this is the first time it's been legal and it's a pretty cool deal. So uh, congratulations to Boise state. Congratulations to uh, Clint. And hopefully this is the start of something again, just check our social media, check our Twitter um, we've got it out there. Other, other media members have tweeted about it as too. the, uh, website is, uh, selectprintingusa.com. I don't know if you can find it through there, but if you go to our social media, we'll get the links out, um, uh, there. A quick reminder, quick shout out, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just youtube.com backslash Bronco nation news. We're trying to get over a thousand YouTube subscribers, which helps us. Uh, so we're making a big push here. Um, and so if you can uh, help us and tell your friends, you just go really quickly to youtube.com backslash Bronco Nation News. You click subscribe, click the little bell there as well, so you get notified when we go live. And uh, for all of our pregame and postgame shows, this will be the uh, best way for you to uh, access it right there on your smart TV. If you uh, have a smart TV, you just go to the YouTube app, and then you can go to Bronco Nation News and watch all of our uh, live videos. And we already had uh, someone here saying they're watching at their cubicle. 
Got the show live in my cubicle at the office. Best show on YouTube. Not sure I'd go that far, Jacob, but appreciate the uh, kind words. And um, yeah, so uh, appreciate that. We got some cool announcements coming. I don't want to let too much out of the bag here, but uh, we may have some very cool announcements uh, moving forward in terms of hopefully some additions uh, to the show in terms of some uh, Boise media members uh, joining uh, forces again. Uh, if you thought KTIK was one thing, wait till hopefully what we can announce in the next couple of days. I'm really excited about pushing this across the finish line. Um, and uh, looking like we're going to be able to hopefully start a daily show here, 9 a.m. If you got any cool names, let me know. I'm trying to get a name for some sort of uh, daily Boise State talk show. We're looking uh, hopefully as early as next week. Maybe we can start 9 a.m. Monday through Friday talking Boise State sports every single day here on the uh, channels of Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com. So if you have an idea for a name, uh, I've got a couple out there. Bronco Nation News Live is kind of our live broadcast thing. But if we do a special show just Boise State related that may be in the works, um, for those of you still watching, you're getting kind of the – the news leaked here. Uh, let us know of a name you might like, and uh, we'll see if we can give a, a gift card away or something to one of our, uh, whoever picks the uh, the right name. We got a couple we like, but we're not totally for sure yet. So uh, appreciate everybody for checking this out. A programming note, Stacy Collins, the former Boise State uh, special teams coordinator, the edge coach, he's going to join me for an interview that will be available for our subscribers. So if you're a subscriber of Bronco Nation News, it's $6.99 a month or it's 70 bucks for a whole year. You get two months off. Uh, you get some exclusive content, some exclusive interviews. Stacy Collins, who's now at Penn State, uh, he went to Penn State to be a coach there. He's going to join me this afternoon. That, that will be an interview that is exclusive to subscribers and that'll be posted shortly after to bronconationnews.com for subscribers. So hopefully you will... Uh, Consider subscribing, subscribing, and hopefully you're liking uh, what you see, and we uh, appreciate that. And, and uh, again, uh, subscribers, six ninety nine a month or seventy bucks for a full year, uh, and it's just bronconationnews.com, and you'll be able to get uh, exclusive interviews, exclusive content like our interview coming up this afternoon with Stacy Collins. So appreciate you for checking this out. Thank you to Mike Walsh. Thank you to Clint Horniman. Cool deal. Go on there, uh, check our social media accounts, reach out, and again, you can get the shirts for the men's team. Uh, there are some other players that don't fit on the screen there, as well as the women's team. Again, all players from uh, walk-on freshman to senior starter. You can get to 25 bucks and $5 of that shirt. goes straight back into the pockets of the student-athletes themselves. So cool deal that's uh, going on now for these players, and hopefully they can make some money. As you heard, Tyson Degenhart, Marcus Shaver, the two leading uh, sellers on the men's team so far. Um, but um, that'll do it for this episode. Mike Prater will join me uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. will be Mike Prater. And then Friday, we uh, may have a special guest to make an appearance uh, if we have an announcement to make. And then uh, we'll have um, our weekly Matt Bowser segment on Friday as well. Friday night, 9 p.m. is the Boise State UNLV basketball game. So Friday night, 9 p.m. It's a late one, UNLV. And we'll preview that Friday with Matt Bowser. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., we got Mike Prater coming on for his weekly segment. And again, uh, Stacy Collins coming up exclusively for subscribers at bronconationnews.com. We're working on some other interviews as well, uh, Kent Riddle, and uh, some other interviews uh, that will be available for subscribers on the website. So appreciate you for checking this out. Appreciate you for uh, giving Bronco Nation News a chance. And again, go subscribe on YouTube if you can. Help us out there. And uh, we will be uh, back shortly. Bronco Nation News, bronconationnews.com. Get ready for the time of your life at Circa Resort and Casino, Las Vegas' newest destination for fun, featuring the world's biggest poolside tailgate party with three levels of action, six pools, and a 143-foot screen. The fun is always on deck with all the games all year long. Stadium Swim, located in downtown Las Vegas on Fremont Street. Book the time of your life today at 